So if you come to Rogers and Associates, you're not getting a crystal ball to the future, <laughs> no. but you're getting sound advice about goals. I like that idea that it's what do you want out of life? Mm -hmm. What kind of financial future do you want? And then building that, regardless of what's happening per se in the markets and things like that, it's more designed for what do you want out of your life. Well, you've always stressed smart financial planning. But you say mm -hmm. that there are three core principles attached to that. And the biggest thing is fin financial responsibility, your own financial responsibility. And number one <laughs> core principle you've said is, and it seems obvious, don't spend more than you earn. Right. Now, many of us can't even get that one straight. <laughs> but I want you to focus this part of our conversation on those other two core principles. What are they and why do so many of us have difficulty Mm -hmm. following those two principles. Well, not to skip over number one, because if we can get number one, the, ev everything else in financial planning falls into place. Because one of the biggest concerns people have about retirement planning is, am I going to run out of money? Well, if you can discipline yourself to live below your means, and you need to do that in order to get to the point where you can retire anyway, but if you can do that, then you will never have a problem with money, because it's never about how much money that you make. It's always about how much money that you spend if you spend too much, we can never earn enough in order to get to that place. Well, is there, but, is there something you could tell people right now about that first principle then? Uh, don't spend more than you earn. What, right. What's a bedrock principle that you need to adopt when you consider that statement? Well, as, as a minimum, you need to save 10%. So whatever you're making, live on 90%. And if you start there and then try to increase that, then live on 85% and continue to try to increase it, because what we should be trying to do with our, our finances is get to the point where we can be financially independent. And by that, I mean get to the point where you don't have to work for money anymore. Your money is working for you, and if you spend everything that you make, you never have any money left to earn anything for you. But if you always spend less, now your money can earn money, and eventually you will no longer be going to work for money because you will have enough money that it's going to work for you. So principle number one is to always live below your means, and uh, once you're doing that, principle number two is then to save and invest regularly. Not trying to time the market, but have a long-term investment strategy and continually put money into your investments so that you're growing into the point where there's going to be enough there to, uh, to take care of you without having to work to so the point where you get financially independent. And principle number three is to do it in a tax-efficient way, to diversify your investments, uh, which we call the new three-legged stool approach, so that you have money tax-deferred, tax-free, and after-tax, so that when you get to the point where you're uh, financially independent, you can really craft whatever tax bracket that you want by choosing which one of those legs that you're taking money from.